do you question if the other people on your team will be as likable as you, though? The people on my team are exactly who they are on the air, and uh, Amy is the absolute sweetest girl I've ever met in my life. I mean, she is the nicest, most wholesome girl. I have no doubt people will love her probably more there. I mean, there is not a more natural fit for a person than her going to there. And with Lunchbox, I just don't care. He's just going to be who he is. People, well, he, but that's what he's about. He's about not right. caring. Being People will is. love him or hate him regardless of how he is. So I don't worry about that. So that part of it, change that part. that part of it will not be changed. I mean, our show won't change. What will change will be the artists. I mean, listen, we'll be playing Taylor Swift every seven seconds like we do now, too. <laughs> so a lot of that will be the same. Uh, and, and the music. Yeah. But we still talk a lot. You know, and it's not going to be an all-music show. It's going to be... Um, a show with a little bit of music and a lot of us, but based in Nashville, and, and that was the hard part. To leave Austin. To leave home. Why? Because Austin's home. I mean, I, I grew up here. I really found out who I was in Austin. I, all my friends are here. We've been through a lot here in Austin with you. A lot. Um, and I get sad thinking about leaving. I mean, that, that really was the, the hardest part for me. And... I never thought I would be the guy to be sad to leave a place. I mean, I kind of saw myself as a, a gypsy radio guy until I got to New York or Los Angeles. That's what I saw. Well, the longer I stayed, the more I realized I could stay here. We can syndicate our show from here. Uh, Andy Roddick and I do a national sports show from here. Everything is right here. And I remember probably six months ago saying to one of my friends, I think for the first time I'm actually happy just to be in Austin. And, of course, right when you figured life out, those are the old curveball. So, so, th so that was the hardest part, was, um, was having to, to leave Austin. And, and, and with everyone on the show, too, because, you know, a lot of the radio guys here in town, other than myself, they have come to Austin from, from their homes. I feel like we're leaving our home to go to somewhere else. You know, on our show, we have Bowie High, Anderson High, Austin High, Texas State, UT. I mean, uh, all of us. I mean, it, we, we want to be the show that Austin's proud of. I, I look at it, if, if there was a baseball player that, that played at Austin High and he went and played for the Pittsburgh Pirates, everyone would root for this guy even though he's not in Austin anymore because he's an Austin product. And that really was what convinced me that we could do this, is that we still want to be the guys that Austin roots for because we, we are who they are. The thing is that somebody who, if you're you know, making it sound like somebody who goes to another baseball team um, or something. They don't take their whole family with them. You're taking the family that you know. I'm taking my dog. Every, <laughs> all your whole team. And, and they're maybe their families. You know, so describe to me that pressure and, and what does that feel like? I feel like I've got to succeed for all the people that I'm bringing with me. There's, there's that pressure. Um, but that being said, we have an Austin staff. Whenever I worked this contract out, I made them jump through so many hoops that I really didn't think it would work out. Part of me hoped it wouldn't work out. As great as it was, when they said no, I would be like, oh, good. I still have a great thing going. I'm one of the biggest shows in the country from Austin where I love. But with every hoop I threw them, they just continued to jump through another one. And so we have our own Austin staff here as well. And so I'm able to work out of Austin some. Um, as, as like a second home. I'm going to have a place here in Austin, which is one of the luxuries. Listen, I grew up in a tiny house without a bedroom, and I'm going to have a house there, and I'm going to have a house here. It is so crazy for someone who grew up like I did to be able to say that they have two different places. Um, and so I'll be here a lot because all my friends are here. You know, everything that I really have is, is here in Austin.